What's up, YouTube? <sighs> Back with next video, take on your what? Yeah, yeah. Mm. <clears throat> on your head, Tops G, how you doing? Quick disclaimer before I even get into all this. I want to give a big shout out to my barber, but that man is him. My barber is him. Look at that. Oh my God. You be doing some real himothy things while I'm in that seat, my boy. Big shout out to BZ. You all ready? Let's chest up. Woo! Feels good to be back in the YouTube with you guys. You did? We come back on the YouTube, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to give you guys some sauce, okay? That's why I'm here. That's why I usually make videos for sauce. Sometimes I'll do the vlogs, but I feel like these have more of an impact on you, bro. Listen, these are all great products, but I would say, and I've said it for years, the lifestyle trumps all this stuff. This stuff is all supplemental, bro. Getting adequate sleep, drinking enough water, trying to eat as wholesome as possible, live as wholesome as possible is the way to go. I am not perfect. All right, so I'm gonna start this video by telling you guys a hole that's in my game when it comes to my overall vitality. I've been vaping for two years now, and I've definitely noticed a difference um, in the quality of my skin. I don't like it in the quality of my energy output. I don't like it. That's the hole in my game. I just wanna keep it real crystal clear of you. So if you have any holes in your game or a few holes in your game, don't beat yourself up about it, but identify them and try to limit the vices that you have, right? Because we all got them, right? Don't feel no way. What? Anyway, we're going to start with the hair. You ready? Let's go. Ah! Vita Coco. So I start with this first because you can put this in your hair, you put this on your face, you put it on your body, you put it in Yo, beard, you can even eat this shit. You can cook with it too. This is like magic, you feel me? So if you want better overall vitality, you should definitely have this in your game, bro. Like, don't sleep on this, it's great. I love to moisturize my body with it. I really didn't start doing it till I got in the black magic. I was a dude that never really used like lotion and shit like that. My skin would still stay soft. That was just by the grace of God, you feel me? But yeah, mm, that smells so good, bro. That smells so, oh my goodness. Don't sleep on this. This is pretty expensive. This is about 20 bucks a bottle, but lasts me a while. I've had it for a good while, okay? Next is the Hemp Set, all right? This is shampoo and conditioner all in one. This is rich with saw palmetto, which is going to keep your hair strong at the root. My opinion this is the best shampoo and conditioner on the market because it's for all hair types. It doesn't matter if you have nappy hair, curly hair, wavy hair, straight hair. It's fantastic. It's going to help you retain hair over time, motherfucker. That's why you need it. Next is their version of Minoxidil. This is going to help you gain hair, right? So it's going to help you not lose hair. It's going to help you gain more hair, okay? This isn't an instant product. You got to trust the process and be consistent with it. Unfortunately, I know consistency sucks, but you got to do that. And you'll probably see results in about four to six months. I've been using this for two years. Definitely had a big impact on my hair. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Now we got the finishers, fellas, okay? These are the finishers right here. Everybody knows the good old pink lotion right here. I get this in the light version because I don't like too much chemicals in my shit. You can do this daily. It's gonna, it's basically, it's lotion for your hair, bro. You use it every single day, it's gonna have your hair feeling nice and soft. And when you're on date night and they feeling all your hair, they gonna love it, okay? Now, oiliology. This is a nice spray. I like to use sprays lately because my touch is really, it's not a finesse touch. I know you guys don't believe that, but like, I'm a really rough guy, bro. So, sprays are fantastic. This is great for your beard mm -mm -mm, and great for your hair as a finisher. When the light hits this motherfucker, when you got this in, it'd be like crystals. It'd be like crystals. You feel me? So, yeah, use some form of moisturizer once you get done. I like the pink lotion because it's very affordable and it's proven. It works. Like everybody uses this. You know what I'm saying? And then, then some kind of spray to finish out. Mm -mm, that smells so good. All right, so hair's pretty simple. You just want to keep it nice and strong and moist, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Now, finally. If you're a guy that's struggling with hair loss, I suggest you either one, make sure your body fat's down below 15% and cut it off. You might have a good head shape. It's a very masculine look. If you're struggling with the hair loss, like don't hang on to it, cut it off and just keep a nice chiseled jawline with the baldy, like do it. Like I did it. It was pretty good, it was pretty good. If you're a guy that doesn't want to go that route, I suggest you get a hair transplant, which can be very expensive guys. But I do have an alternative for you guys. If you are suffering from hair loss and you don't have the means or time to get your hair transplant. Hair fibers are fantastic. If you guys, you guys might all know about this. Like when you go to a barber, they use this. My barber used this for my hairline. It's fantastic. You can barely even tell, right? It's undetectable. It's fantastic. Put this thing with some gotta be glued to the thinning area. It's like magic. Voila, won't fall out. If you get a good one, you go and water with it. So yeah, definitely try out some hair fibers if you need them. 
You stay with me, you stay with me. Okay, we're gonna move on to the face. Before I get into the products, I would say the best thing for the face, besides lifestyle and all that, what I said earlier in the video, blah, blah, is to utilize Botox and filler. Yes, I get Botox and filler three times a year to my face. Uh, currently, I don't have any. Definitely do for, I like to get them on the forehead, below the eyes, make you look real fresh. Looks like you got like sleep for an attorney, like you don't have late nights. It's fantastic, it's like magic. Again, that's a real expensive route to go through, but in my opinion, when you got that Botox and filler, and then you drink enough water, and then you use these products, everybody gonna be asking what your skincare routine is. Everybody gonna be like, yo, what's your skincare routine, bro? You gonna be like, ah, snap. You don't even gotta tell them your secrets, but I'll tell y'all my secrets. You, feel, you guys ready? Let's go. Neutrogena. Oh yeah, you guys remember that commercial with Gary O'Union your fine ass in it? Yeah. This is the daily uh, face wash. You can do this every single day. Um, my skin is more dry and oily, so I like to use this like right when I wake up, right before I go to sleep. Real simple, nothing too crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, make sure you have a daily face wash. You know what I'm saying? Definitely use that. Now, before I get into everything else, I'm gonna tell you guys how I use it and how often I use it. Cause with a skincare routine, you don't gotta do the same thing every single time. There is such thing as overkill even with skincare, okay? So let's go. You gotta have some form of a face mask. I got two, so I got a peel off right here. This smells fantastic, actually. Oh, the French pink clay. Oh, that shit fire. I'm actually running out of this, and I have to use a charcoal mask. So I use one or the other once a week. Usually do it like somewhere in the middle. Today's Wednesday, so I'm due for one of these, actually. Um, the way I do it, I'll apply a hot towel to my face, almost steaming, open those pores right up, apply this, keep it on for about 10 minutes, and you peel it off, it's so satisfying. You guys know that feeling when it goes, and you see all that nasty ick in your face. Oh. Now, this is a little bit different, okay? This is gonna be a cleanse as opposed to a peel. So these two do two different things, but I can use them sparingly once a week. This should last you like literally like three to four months, bro. If it's lasting you less than that, then you're using it too much. And that could be bad for your skin because there's such thing as overkill for your skin. Shoot him, shoot him, sha la 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 la. Ah. Name the movie. Next, we got some blemish pads from Noxima, okay? This is fantastic. You use this every single day. Um, I like to use it after the gym, you know what I'm saying? After I've showered up and everything's all good, this will get rid of all that extra stuff. And take a look at this. I don't care how clean you think your skin is, if you're active, you're gonna see some black stains in there. And that smells really good, it's fantastic. Be careful with this, cause this can burn through your pores if they're open, so make sure you apply cold water before using these, right? It's gonna burn, I'm telling you, it's gonna burn. Be careful. Oh, shit. <laughs> now we got the topicals. This is what I like to use second to last every single time. Got some anti-wrinkle cream right here. This is fantastic. Just a little bit, right? Don't, this stuff should last you, again, like four to five, maybe six months. Like, don't overdo it with this. I use this three times a week. Leaves my skin looking like just, I don't even know, just majestic. I can't even put some on right now. Oh my goodness, it just leaves your face just looking dewy. Ooh, ooey, gooey, dewy. You feel me? Look at that, ooh. I'm shining now. Yeah. Mmm. Then I use a moisturizing serum. I don't use these at the same time, right? So I keep two, I'll use this like in and out. Right? I'll do this like this week, and then next week I'll use this. Now for the finisher, like I said, I like to use sprays because I don't got a great finesse <laughs> with, with my touch, but I got to work on that. And that can be very damaging for your face. You know what I'm saying, guys? When you're wiping really hard on that skin, especially under the eyes, um, this is the most delicate piece of skin that you have on your body. So you got to be real careful with it. You feel me? Play up. So finish out with a witch hazel or a rose wire. This from the heritage store. You don't need to get this brand per se, but this stuff is addicting. It smells really good. Mmm. It's a great moisturizer, finisher, full of vitamin E. Ooh, beware, it's addicting. Sometimes you'll catch yourself spraying this on your face for no reason. Now we're moving on to the beard, guys. And if you are a young rebel with a baby face, you can skip on over or you can listen to the sauce. You ready? Yeah, you can apply this minoxidil onto your face as well as the same principle as the hair on your head. It's still gonna take four to six months, but you will see some peach fuzz for all of my baby face rebels. You feel me? Let's get it. All right, so we're guys, right? We don't really like using different shit at different times. So we like three in one, four in one, shit like that. You know what I mean? So yeah, I got a two in one, 
right here. Every Man Jack is the brand with tea tree oil in it. Ooh, smells like mint. Mmm. Do not shower with this, bro. I, bro, I don't, why do, why do guys do that? Like, I used to do that when I was a kid. And then I was like, bro, that's not giving the same kind of thing I need to do. You remember them days when you used to shower with the shampoo? Do not do that. We're grown now, okay? This is great for your beard. It's going to have the same common kind of effects as the saw paw metal. Help you hold on and keep you a nice, strong, manly beard. Like a lumberjack. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's a good angle right there. I just want to switch it up. You know what I mean? So your ADHD don't kick in. But I got two more products for you guys. You ready? Let's go. Come on. Oh, yeah. You guys ready for secret weapons? The finishers? Okay. You got the best damn beard oil from Duke Cannon. I've been using this for two years. My beard is very dry and coarse. You know what I'm saying? That's how it leaves my beard feeling. This is more of like a cosmetic thing. So like similar to that um, that coconut spray from Oyology on the hair this is great on the beard. Like when nighttime comes and that, that night light hits it, bro. Oh my goodness. You looking holographic Charizard cuz. Yeah, but I only use it as like a cosmetic thing. I don't use it in routine at all. So this lasts me a real long time. Definitely not something I'll put on before bed, but I got something better for you though. Okay, okay. If you got a really dry and coarse beard, right? Like myself, I suggest you use beard butter. This is from Everyman Jack as well. And the smell is to die for, huh? Mm. I put this on my beard twice a day, right when I wake up. And if I got a hot day, I'm definitely putting it on because it smells good. And it leaves your beard feeling nice and cut legs for the winter time you tick. So yeah. If you're not a beard oil kind of guy, definitely try beard butter or try both. Why not? Now, finally, guys, I feel like, listen, if you are an ethnic guy and you can't use, you know, the disposable razor, you should definitely have a pair of Andit's clippers on deck. I got this one wireless. And it's just like, it'll clean up on my barber. If my barber's not available, you know, you don't want to be a pain in the ass to your barber. You don't want to go to your barber like, hey, bro, like, line my beard up real quick. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't got to be doing all that. So... Get this, you're not a barber, but you can always trim up, clean up real nice with this, okay? Now, this is fantastic. This is that skin type from BNC. And this is a bump preventative, razor bump preventative, and it helps clean out ingrowns, right? So usually, what I do have here is a set of these. This is like my biggest problem area right underneath the neck. I have very thick and coarse hairs under there, right? So. Every time when I shave, I always risk having those ghastly bumps underneath the neck. You guys know what I'm talking about? That, that shit, it's a cock block, bro. It looks so bad, bro. All them bumps under your neck. Um, and obviously using the tweezers is a quick fix. It'll instantly make the bumps go down, but it's very painful. So this right here is a lot more efficient. I like to put this on my anti-blemish pads that I showed you guys earlier from Nuxima. And I'll rub it underneath the neck. And I don't know how it does it. I ain't no goddamn scientist but it really eliminates any kind of impurities underneath your neck. So use this after you shave, even if you don't shave, use it as preventative, it's fantastic. And that's um, that's pretty much all the products, bro. It's a good deal of products. I think I showed you guys about 20 or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, again, like these are not things you gotta use every single day. You gotta kind of schedule it properly because if you use this stuff every single day, it's gonna be detrimental, like I said, right? But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And then we're going to come in with um, products for overall vitality, a.k.a. your body, right? Because the body counts, okay? So I'm going to show you guys all the supplements that I've been using lately. Um, again, if you guys want to check out some of these products, they're in the description below. Fuck it, your boy. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I'm your boy, Hercules. And it's Wednesday. I'm going to put that beard oil on. I'm going out. You already.